Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we'll be taking a look at two new officers in the game that with February really not being a month that everybody's excited about, it's, look, we gotta find the good. And I think that some of the good is the officers and we're gonna talk about these two today, Fess and Eric on the right side of your screen. And I actually really, really enjoy these. I think that in terms of their design, they provide two very unique options for mining. And while mining is not something I get excited about, I am truly sorry for all of you who really thoroughly enjoy mining in the game. It's not my thing. But I do think that these are two very good options for that. One being very good when it comes to concentrated platinum mining and the other being good at surprising you with how it can really benefit you mining other materials. I'm going to show an example of that in this video with Fess. So let's take a look at mining in general. We'll take these two lovely gentlemen off the screen like that. So we're going to take a look at concentrated latinum first. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a low end concentrated system. Let's use Iapedes. I used to do armadas here and we now can do concentrated latinum. So what we're going to do is compare side by side mining rates between the fecia and what I find is probably Eric and Fess's best use. Well, one of their best use is to be used in this way, creating a second concentrated latinum miner. Here's why. My fecia is still at tier one. Now my fecia has had a mining laser update and a cargo update. Uh, that's one of the few things I've been able to afford so far, but so I'm at a 630 after the update. Remember they did update this and if you've not seen the details of the update, we did a video on it, but also the ice glow spreadsheet, you know, the one that he put together showing off Eric and the officers on things like horizons. If you want to have as a reference material, join my discord and you can get in there. You see my fecia mines at right at 119.5 thousand on a regular node in the IPD system. With Eric on an Antares, I'm mining at 81.8 thousand. So I'm really not dropping off that much, about 40 thousand, which is fine though. I mean, really 38 thousand. And the, the benefit here is if I have a Fecia out on a node and an Antares, I'm able to go and obviously source more concentrated Latin, especially as a lower level player who can't get to like the tier 10 Fecia, because you are level locked on the Fecia, and allow you to get a little bit more out of that and maybe mine less. So if we actually put forth how, kind of how we talk about getting, you know, data surplus and how we've talked about doing that with Latinum, having one or two days where we mine this and then stockpile instead of having to do it every day. Having the ability to use two ships to do that is great, especially if you're not having to go through the process of two fecia. Because as we've discussed before, the procurement of the fecia is a problem. And then the procurement of the parts needed for the fecia is an even worse problem. So, this is good. I like Eric in that capacity, but there's actually a use besides that. And if you want to even use them on your fecia, we'll just go ahead and swap this out real quick, but let's uh, put our jellyfish there and then we'll go put our fecia on here. And you can see with Eric already, you know, getting a great mining rate with your fecia, but now with this on top, another 9,500% and you are mining at 150,000. To me, the value is as a secondary ship. I find more value for it, but obviously 150,000 is a tier one fecia is a pretty nice mining area. Let's swap this back, but I wanna to go to the officers directly and talk about their value in the game. So if we're gonna do this, let's start with, you know what, let's start with Eric. I will start with him first. I, I'm tricky because when I started this, I really disliked Fess, but the more I've got, after I've gotten Fess, the more I've been able to use and the more I actually like him. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But here is the officer and captain's ability of Eric. It is exploit market opportunities, which right now shows 9,500, but it is getting a bonus from Fess. So keep in mind that it starts at 6,500 and goes up to 9,500 with single synergy. Now I don't have Quark, so I can't show you uh, the synergy of all three of them in the game, but it would obviously be add another 3000 to that and you'd get 12,500. So simple math, y'all can all do simple math. And then the officer ability diversify, and this is a very important one to take note of, increases mining speed by 25%. Really not that good. It's okay, but it's not a lot. And the reason I say it's not a lot is because this is not something that changes the base rate of a miner. It's very important to note that. So if we were to just, you know, try to calculate his mining bonus with, you know what, we can just show you. Easy peasy, right? So if we take a look 
it's in a book reading rainbow. If we actually just go over to a gas node, let's go over right here. We know what the Antares is designed for, it's designed for mining gas. It has a bonus and it has its natural ability and officers 22,772. Now the easiest way we can track at what Eric provides, simple, take Eric off, gone, no Eric. Now no captain, we just got the ship bonus. Oh, wait, yeah, that's fine. We just got the ship bonus. Now let's take a look at what it would do. 21,497, not exactly just falling off the face of the earth when it comes to how much it, or how quickly it can mine gas. You saw that bonus is very, very small, not changing the, the base rate or anything. You're only getting about a plus 1,000 in this particular instance. So that is how Eric works. Let's take a look at how Fest works. So let's go back to our officer's menu. What we're gonna do real quick though, is we're gonna swap these out. Now remember 22,000 is what we were mining with just having Eric as captain, which is that officer ability. So it really wouldn't have helped that much. Now let's swap it over. Now we're gonna have Fest as captain, Pursue profit where you find it. We'll talk about that and we'll take Eric down for just a second. Okay. Now we're going to go back and take a look at Eric and Fess, but Fess being the one that we're on now, right here. Here's Fess. Now, Fess's abilities as an officer, I'm really hit or miss on the reduced protected cargo by 30%. That is obviously a huge negative, and there's a reason that a lot of people are not super excited about it. But I want to talk about why he can still be very valuable. So cut corners when you need to. You start with a reduced cargo of 30%. That's going to be a negative for most people. Anything that reduces protected cargo, and I said this myself, is going to be something that most people don't like. And I don't like it. I do like the idea of a negative if there's a really good positive to counter it. And that's where the captain's ability for Fest comes in. Pursue profit where you find it. Increases base mining speed by 55%. Now, if you look at Eric, I'll swap it over quick. Mining speed plus 25, just a small mining speed bonus. But this one is actually a base mining speed improvement. Why does that matter? Well, let me show you why it matters. And this is 55% because as you can see up at the top, I have no synergy there. I'm not using any synergy, don't have Eric up at all. So if I'm gonna take this down real quick, pop it on out. Now you see I've got him as captain. Remember it was 22,000 with Eric as captain. Now we got Fess as captain. Like I'm gonna mix those names up a lot. Now we're at 24,300. It went another 2,000 above what it already was. And we actually just took Eric off. This is Fest by himself adding about 3,000 a bit an hour. But let's go ahead and give him some full synergy. And here's why that could be very important. Group, sort, Eric, plus 35 to that. Anybody out there as a math whiz would like to do some quick math? 90% bonus to the base mining speed. Now, what are we looking at? Why is that important? Well, now we're at 27,362 on a tier seven in Why do we care? Let me show you why we care real quick. You see that I've got the Pring, not Borg to Pring, just regular to Pring on here. It's a max to Pring, but captain's ability is obviously for mining gas. So let me put to Pring here. We were at 27,005. Let me give her full synergy. How about that? It's not perfect synergy. We should probably, you know, let's, for the sake of the argument, let's go ahead and make it a perfect synergy situation where we use Kabish. 60% to her captain's ability. So now we've got the bonus with the Antares itself, and now we've got her 100% increase. He was at 27.5, 26.59? Whoa, what's up with that math? That's the difference between the increase, or that's what the increase can give you by using Eric. You're getting a very, very nice jump, and now you're getting another set to use that is a generic set. And in some ways, maybe even better, because now you can have those officers on other boats. So what we've really had in the past few months is we're getting more and more officers that allow us to expand our mining fleet, which, gosh, I don't even like saying. It feels dirty coming out of my mouth, but, you probably like it. Most people do, because this game does require a lot of mining of different materials. And having something that directly affects the base amount adds up. As you can see here, we have got on a gas node, this is something that, you know, the ship is already designed to do. And then taking the officer's designed to do it well, and yet still performing better, 
because the Ferengi are just probably going to be the best miners in the game going toe to toe with the Borg. But the Borg are specific. You know, Borg to Pring is for mining gas. Borg Barrett is for mining crystal. Whereas Fest is giving you a bonus to your base mining speed to do whatever with. It doesn't matter if you want to mine gas. You can go mine gas and then say, hey, why don't I just run up here and mine some par steel for whatever reason? And you could, because he's applying to that as well. There's 79,560. And if I wanted to take him down and take a look at the same thing, here, you go back down, bam, and then you swap out. So this is without Fess, without Eric. Down to 56,000. Now, who's out there really caring about their par steel mining rates? I don't know. There are a couple of missions that require you to do it. The point I'm making, though, is that Eric has this fantastic ability to not only slightly increase your mining percentage bonus, but to make you have a second concentrated Latinum miner. And then Fess, even with his negative of losing you some protected cargo, you can counter with a Tapring or a DuPont or several other officers and then still get a better miner in general that will mine anything better. So if you're one of those players that needs to mine three-star, four-star gas, but doesn't have an Antares, well, now you've got Fess helping you out as much if not more than you would if you had to pring. That's a big change for a lot of people. And let me just show you a visual example of that. Let me move my cavort over here. Let's take a look at this one first. What's the cavort mine? 9,691. So under 10,000 by itself, a tier seven cavort. This mining laser is not as updated as the Antares is. So let's go ahead and swap that over. And we'll look at it with to pring on it. And then we'll look at it with Fess on it. So you saw it was under 10,000 running naturally just by itself. Now, what's it at? 13.6. Still respectable. A great increase thanks to the Pring. But now let's go ahead and uh, make it into our Borg. I'm sorry, our, our Borg. Our Ferengi. That's not right. All right. Move it up here. Confirm. And now let's see what we get. On a Cavort, 14.7. So we've almost doubled what that Cavort could do naturally on a gas node simply by having the Ferengi officers. And these are baby tier one, nothing fancy, immediately out of the gate, have just made your mining fleet almost twice as good depending on what you're trying to do. That is a nice addition to the game. This is an example of officers being good for everybody, for the average player, and not that hard to procure. Yes, it is relying on the Dabo wheel and your SMS completion events and even doing your battle pass. Work is going to be harder to get, but as we've seen, it's not too hard to go through the pool system and manage to get a, a shard here as we're going through it. And there's another fest shard for me and getting a quark shard as well as getting the titanium and the crystal I need. So the only drawback is the procurement may be a little bit harder for some players, but I do feel like these rares are going to be a lot easier to get for most as we go through the coming weeks. I think a lot of you already have them and then you see best getting a lot of shards here even in the free pass up at the top before we round out towards the end and then if you bought the $20 one you're almost guaranteed to get fest because it's loaded with fest shards down here at the bottom so no matter where you're at these are definitely cards that seem to be pretty easy to procure in this Ferengi arc which this is not the only month of the Ferengi arc at least we don't believe so so that means you got a chance to get more of these if you haven't already and this is how they work and hopefully these visual examples help you in the game and if you liked it well simple smash the like video you kind of did it already, but why not do it again? Yeah, just, just go ahead and smash it again. Looks like that. Um, oh, it didn't come up. Well, give for me timbers. Live long and prosper. Stay safe, other space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, like the button. And why not join the Discord? What's it going to hurt? Come hang out with me, ask me questions directly, and put your feedback in. And hopefully stuff like this, good officers coming, can make this month that doesn't feel that great a little better. Love y'all. God bless. Catch you on the next one. Howdy. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.